Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you about how to use Pinterest to create a vision board. Whether you make your resolutions on January or on your birthday, it's never a better time like the beginning of the year to sort of create a vision board. A vision board is a board whereby you put different images that you can look at it every day or every week that sort of reinforce whatever your goals are yeah, and yeah you should really google and learn more about vision boards because they are really really proven to work especially with the law of attraction and manifesting what you want so i'll show you the process in which i created an online vision board because i didn't want to be cutting up magazines printing things and having it physically i wanted to have it just on my computer and also on my phone so i hope you enjoyed this video hey guys jean here vision boards let's talk about vision boards and i'm going to show you how to create a nice digital vision board that you don't really have to print on your wall or stick on your bedroom just somewhere in your computer and you can be seeing it you can be accessing it on your phone you can access it on any computer you use and this is through pinterest if you really love visuals, I love visuals. In Pinterest, it's a place whereby you can see all the visuals that you like. This is currently my home feed on Pinterest. If you don't have an account, you can create an account. Um, this is tailored towards what I have been, you know, what I've been doing and what I've been following. So it's all over the place. And, you know, the algorithm uh, makes my post depending on what I like. I post a lot about wine. I pin a lot about hair, dogs, all this. So that's why my um, <laughs> my timeline is a mess. And then let's just go to my Pinterest board. I really love Pinterest a lot. I have boards from everything. These are my Pinterest boards at the moment. Really beautiful. So I want to make my own uh, vision board. And what I'm going to do is come to board to create a board. So that's where you go to create board and I go to um, vision board 2020 yes and I'll keep it secret for now because sometimes when you announce things too much <laughs> well it's good but for me I just want to keep it secret for now just for the purpose of this video I do have another vision board but let's just go ahead um you have to create your vision board depending on how your goals are uh, for the year so, for example, my goals for the year are finances, to just get my finances in order. So you come here, finances, have some fun, uh, family. I also love freedom and autonomy. And then the other goal that I have is fitness and health. Uh, for now, these are my goals for this is mostly for quarter two. These are my goals for quarter two. And I could save. I really love having my goals written like this. And the first thing I will focus on is, of course, I will open a new tab on Pinterest, a new tab that focuses on finances. I want to have more money. I want to save more money. And I want to just have my finances is in order so normally when you go to pinterest as it is an aggregator for different uh, sites you will definitely get a lot of this type of uh, boards or this type of posts that are, are too text heavy so what i'm going to do is financial freedom how to save your fast so i do get this type of posts maybe i could say um, money I think money is good. Money picture. So I come here and I pick a money, like a picture of money. I know these are all dollars and we're dealing with Kenya shillings. So I want Pinterest. The best thing with Pinterest is you can get anything that you want that kind of represents you. Um, let's see. Let's the anything that represents me all this looks like dollars and expensive expensive things <laughs> if i had a dollar for how many times i saw this photo i see it everywhere so i can come here and save it to a vision board 2020 
the next thing I really want to have is to travel. Travel is in the freedom and autonomy. Um, travel, oh my gosh, I really love such pictures or such things that really... Oh, first of all, I really want to go to Iceland. I really want to go to Iceland and all those Nordic countries. So what I'm going to do is come here and... And I really want to see the Northern Lights. So maybe I can click Northern Lights because that's one, one, one major thing I want to do. Um, I don't want videos, but this definitely describes exactly what I want. So what I do on Pinterest is to continue just pinning. So pinning is the, it sounds, it's like a notice board and then you're pinning stuff. So I only want two photos of the Northern Lights and that's that. I also want more Iceland things. There's this uh, bit on Iceland that kind of looks like this. Um, although this is a video, maybe I want to have like a photo. I think this is the place. So I save it to Vision Board 2020 quarter one. Uh, quarter two, I mean. I'm not sure I'll be able to go there with the everything that's happening. So Iceland, we are done. And then I think of, okay, where else do I want to go? I want to go back to Zanzibar again. I had gone there in 2017, but I really want to go back again. So here I can come and pin this photo of a place that I visited, which is, at, I think it's called the Tato Bay or something. I don't remember correctly, but I had gone there. And then I just like to have photos of black women traveling. So on my main board, on my main Pinterest board, I have uh, photos that I can use for my vision board. So number one is this one of black women traveling. And we have a Justin Sky photo that I really, really love because she looks so fit and she's just living her life. <laughs> and so I come and put it there. Sometimes things that I pin also kind of reflect my vision board. I just love this photo. First of all, the lady looks so beautiful. She is living her best life somewhere in a nice, nice city. And just continue pinning things um, depending on how my vision, my other boards are. For example, I have this board called Black Women Traveling where I just collect beautiful black women traveling. I love to see black women traveling. I feel so, so inspired. And I love this photo of Patricia Bright um, just living. I think this was a while back. I just love her very much. For me, I really love to just immerse myself when I travel so I'm also uh, looking for somebody who looks very authentic like they didn't try so hard or you know like to I don't know whether you understand this but sometimes when you travel you just want to take photos for the gram so I'm looking for such an authentic photo that kind of represents me where you see the lady is not too much concerned about you know posing for the gram or whatever she's just living Okay, she's just leaving in short. So such photos really inspire me where people are just in their elements, you know. Even if I find a photo of somebody with ragged jeans or dirty shoes just walking in the streets, those are the ones that I really love. But not to say that I also don't love perfect posed photos. I also love those as well. Yes, so we are done with the women traveling. And then we can come to, I love this. I have this board called Goals and Aspiration which is a vision board for my best life, things that will come to pass if you focus. Um, this was also very travel influenced because I was really trying to visit Europe, which I did. And I really love just seeing women. You can see I'm really inspired by women. Oh, this photo just speaks to me. Like, I don't know whether it's the glass of wine and the, uh, the clouds behind, but just really are so beautiful. So I pinned that. <laughs> And then we come to this photo here that makes me feel, it just made my heart skip a bit because I really wanted to go for a helicopter ride before I turned 30. Although I did turn 30, it's fine, but this is something I want to do. And then I also am a rebel at heart. So what you're doing in your vision board is collecting things that you've already like, you know, you want to come to pass and they kind of make you feel something. So I'm a rebel at heart and some of these photos really make me beautiful, uh, make me like happy. Um, I'm not such an adrenaline junkie, but I really love to do things that set my heart on fire. And 
more than ever, I'm just looking for black women doing stuff. <laughs> Those are the ones that speak to me. So uh, we also come to my house ideas. Um, in the next uh, quarter, I'm not really looking to revamp my house in anything. So that's not really speaking to me at the moment, but I know in third quarter, I will be doing that. Uh, resort, beach and flowy, not so much. Casual comfort. Mm, I have a board that I'm not seeing that has a lot about fitness. I don't know whether it's, no, it's not at home workouts, but I have a board that is all about fitness. Um, I have so many private and <laughs> boards, so you might see some of them here. But I'm not seeing the one about fitness. How come? Oh, yeah, Fit 2020. So I have a board that is just making me, you know, look forward to continue working out and look beautiful. And I'm looking for, like, realistic body types, black women. For example, this one would be something I would aspire to. I've never had abs in my life, but I feel that I could get this body physique if I really, really worked hard. I also love Kelly because she has the dream board that everybody would want to have. Um, yeah, I like this photo of Tiana Taylor with her baby looking strong, even if she has a baby, because I believe that's so beautiful and so nice. <laughs> yeah, so I put that and then, um, yeah, I think I'm done with fitness the next freedom and autonomy go hand in hand with um travel to a sense for me i have this board that i want to include in my quarter two it's about women working online because i really work online i love that lifestyle of building your business this is a shared board i'm already sharing this board with a few people um so i have a few collaborators on this board as you can see here so these are just beautiful photos of women living their life and people who just uh, look so beautiful working. Um, this is mostly for like branding, shoots and people in online businesses. So I'm going to put it in Vision Board 2020. Vision, Vision, Vision Board. You see I have many Vision Boards, but this is the one we're working with. There's one for Ijoma here, who I also love uh, as well. I love her con tent so we put that oh this is so beautiful but i don't think there's a reason to have two of this i just love black women just so beautiful doing their stuff i mean i also i obviously love everybody but photos of black women living the life that i want to be living because i'm a black woman i'm more realistic in my vision board and make me see that this is achievable um or that it's me in the photo, you know. It's a good way to envision myself. But I could also uh, see photos of other women who look so beautiful. And there's a photo I'm actually looking for that I had kept aside this. If there's ever a photo that described me, it's this. Because I love how she's dressed in tights and boots. Because I really, really love boots. And she's so happy. And she's looking great so there's that and then what else what else i am not putting unrealistic um goals but i'm just putting things that i'm seeing in my um uh, my second quarter so i'm not putting things like oh own a house if i know i'm not gonna get it in the second quarter so i'm just putting realistic things that i know can really work for me there's something else I really loved. I think it was this photo which I love that she's working in a co-working space. I was, since I work from home, I wanted to be going to more of these uh, spaces and just continue working. Uh, so we said finance, fitness, uh, fun, fun. So what type of fun do I want to do? I really love hiking, only that I don't get enough only that I don't get enough um, enough spaces here in Kenya to hike. So I would come here and just put this. It's so beautiful because she's somewhere in a mountain. I also love the mountains and forests. And I really want to hike. The running women. I'm not looking like to hike in Mount Kenya. That's something I want to do later on. But for now, in second quarter, I just want to see people active like 
active women just inspire me so so much mm. who are running for yes this one it looks like a stock photo you know those stock photos you find on shutterstock it looks like that i'm not liking the vibe but anyway we just continue let's see what else do i need for second quarter business money financial freedom i also like this photo because it kind of shows me about how our shag's life is you know with these mountains in the background nothing too perfect but perfect for me i mean it's just a nice chill and then spot so i put that as well i have a thing for this zen and chill sports cabins yeah i would really love to go to the beach mid-year but um, my heart is not really really calling for it it's more it's calling for mountains so i have this uh board that has wandering maybe and also have another board that has cabins and stuff like that let me see let me see yes off grid and cabin life oh this is the best lifestyle ever so i want to look for somewhere i'd like to go camping or go to a cabin or just i don't know just get out of the city life in second quarter so that's one thing i want to do yeah, I think we've gotten the gist of how pinning works. So now let's go to my vision board and look at how it looks like at the moment. I don't know whether it... So this is my vision board at the moment. So I've just done 23 pins. All the pins that I have put here kind of represent me, an all-rounded woman. And I love that Pinterest removed the, uh, the text that used to be below because if you are a Pinterest OG, you know that there was a lot of text in between. So right now it has removed and has left very little uh, text. I haven't seen a lot about family yet because I don't want to put pictures of my family here. Freedom, uh, I think all this shows freedom, fitness, fun, yeah so this is my vision board so essentially how this vision board would work would be i remove photos that don't really represent what i'm feeling like on second looks i'm seeing that this photo really doesn't represent what i want so i can delete it and look for a photo that has kenya shillings so what i would do is kenyan kenyan money the best thing with Pinterest is that you can always pin um, you can always pin other photos and I have put the extension like I've put the extension for Google Chrome and I can be able to get more so what I can do is such a photo really makes me happy but this one makes me more happy so I can come here and then uh, go to vision board 2020 and save and then when I come here to vision board 2020 quarter two okay let's see yeah when i come to vision board 2020 quarter two i can find the photo of the money here and what i like about pinterest is that you can move things around if let's say you want the money here you want the outdoors things here you can definitely move them around depending on what you want i really love outdoor life and yeah, you can move the things as you wish. Maybe uh, I don't want to have two photos of of the northern lights, so I delete. <laughs> I delete one. This one's are for Iceland. This one is for Patricia. Like beautiful, beautiful. So, guys, that's how you make a vision board. The power of a vision board is that you keep looking at it every day. The best thing you can access it from your phone in a matatu if you're in uh, somewhere where you're bored you can just look at it make a point of looking at it more and more and more i'm not going to talk about the power of the vision board because i think if you clicked on this video you were curious and you already know the effect of a vision board however don't forget that pinning is like one percent of the work you definitely have to do the rest of the work which is booking the flights booking the trips making the money looking for ways to make the money uh setting time of your job to go enjoy um the outdoors setting uh looking for a running trail in the place that you are 
um, making time to go to a co-working space. Um, yeah, making time to set up your space. Like there's so many things that require you to do. To have such a body, you really have to get out there to travel like this. You have to get out there. So guys, there you have it. I hope you saw how you can make your vision board. And let me know down below. Are you for vision boards that you pin on magazines, on notice boards, or on manila papers? Or are you for digital vision boards? For me, I believe that it doesn't matter. You can you know, make a vision board with whatever you have and it will still work. It all depends with you, the work that you do, the alignment that you do and how willing you are to get close to that. So yeah. Yeah, guys, that's my process of making a vision board. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to thumbs up this video and yeah, keep checking your vision board. Keep looking at it and may whatever you've put on your vision board come to pass. Bye guys.